There is no shortage of marketing advice these days. It seems like anybody with a decent Instagram following or a small YouTube subscriber base is more than happy to tell you what you should be doing in your business to increase your sales and to grow your business. But nobody is talking about the really hard decisions. Like if you're a small business owner on a budget, should you consider hiring somebody in-house to handle all of your marketing initiatives or should you outsource your marketing to an outside marketing agency? This decision can be a really big one and also one that can feel a little overwhelming, which is why in this video, I'm going to cover both the pros and cons of both these options. And hey, if you want to know what my personal recommendation is as an executive director of marketing who's had years of experience with this struggle of deciding whether to hire somebody internally or to outsource some of the marketing, then stick around to the end of the video and I'll give you my personal opinion. Hi y'all, I'm Vivian with The Seasoned Marketer where we're seasoned marketing enthusiasts, educators, and small business advocates dedicated to helping you grow your business. If you're new here, every Monday we release a new marketing video. So if that's something that you're into, go ahead and hit that subscribe button right now. Also, we invite you to join our RBO or Resourceful Business Owner Community today where you'll get access to free marketing resources like a weekly email and our closed Facebook group. So go join today. Just click on the link below. If you've been struggling with the decision of whether to outsource your marketing to an outside marketing agency or to take the time to hire somebody internally to handle your marketing initiatives, these are some of the questions that you've probably been asking yourself. Which is more cost efficient? Which will save me time, meaning which is going to be the most low maintenance so that I can free up more time to work in other areas of my business? and which will give me the best results in terms of driving more sales and revenue to my business. So for this discussion, what I'm going to do is walk through the pros or advantages of each one of these options and then move on to discussing the cons or disadvantages to both options. Let's start with the pros of outsourcing your marketing to a marketing agency. You have access to a team of people that will handle your marketing. You aren't relying on one person to handle every aspect of your marketing. Because marketing agencies are a little more robust, you'll likely get a group of professionals that are well-versed in a very specific marketing niche. For example, they typically will have a team member who focuses solely on search engine optimization, SEO, or somebody who works on Google ads, another person that does strictly graphic design, or even just social media posting. This means that hypothetically, you should be getting access to a team of people who are really good at their specific niche or their roles and responsibilities. They can often negotiate better rates on advertising opportunities, which in turn means that you're able to spend less and ultimately get better results. A good example of this would be if you were to go out and secure a billboard, you could get a billboard for let's say $1,500 a month, but through a marketing agency, that same billboard may only cost $1,000 per month. And that's because they have a long established relationship with the billboard company and because they sign more contracts throughout the year than you ever will. The other side of that is it drives down the price point. So because they are buying in bulk or they just have a long-term relationship with them, they are able to negotiate better rates. You work with people that understand marketing, marketing metrics, and consumer behavior. A marketing agency with a good track record has the experience to understand what works well in different industries, which means that ultimately you will save time because that cuts down the amount of trial and error that you're having to go through to figure out what is going to work best to drive new customers to your business. They have the experience behind them because they do this for a living and therefore you get to tap into that knowledge base. Now let's compare hiring a dedicated marketing person internally to join your team. You have a dedicated team member that will be solely responsible for your marketing initiatives and whose focus will be only on your business and increasing the sales and revenue for your business only. 
Hiring someone internally means they get to know your industry, business, your story, products, and services more intimately, which means that they can not only identify marketing opportunities quicker, but they'll also be able to reprioritize these projects as needed. So they'll understand which projects may take longer and how to shift those throughout the year as your marketing goals may change. You can be nimble and take advantage of on-site opportunities, meaning that the process is much shorter than if you were working with a marketing agency. For example, if you had a client that came in and they gave a wonderful testimonial and you wanted to record that right then and there, having somebody in-house would give you the capability and the flexibility to be able to do that. As opposed to if you were using a marketing agency, it might take a little more coordination to be able to do that. Or if let's say you want to capture some behind the scenes process that you're able to upload onto Instagram stories it's much easier having somebody internally to be able to help you with that. So it cuts down on the potential preparation and planning that you have to do with a marketing agency. Cost savings from the perspective that hiring someone to join your team makes more sense. Of course, I had to throw a pun in there, but it typically is more affordable to hire somebody internally than to outsource your marketing to an outside marketing agency. Now let's move on to talking about the cons. Outsourcing your marketing to a marketing agency, it is not a hands-off approach. I know that the allure to outsourcing your marketing to a marketing agency is the thought that you can go in there, hire them, tell them what you want, pay them, and then just walk away and let them execute. But that's not exactly how it works. So a marketing agency is not going to know your business inside and out the way that you do, which means that you are still going to have to give them guidance, which means you are still going to have to be engaged. Whether it's providing them with content and information that they can use to create social media posts or Instagram reels for you, or providing them with information about your products and services so that they can make you marketing flyers, or even reviewing the images that they're putting together so that you can ensure that it is aligned with the style and aesthetics that you want your business to be represented in. They are a partner, but still a third party, which means ultimately you are still going to have to approve everything to ensure that it is aligned with your values and your business goals. You may not get a customized approach. Now I know some of you are going to have a real issue with me saying this, but there can be a tendency sometimes in marketing agencies to stick with what they know, which means you may not be getting a customized marketing plan, but rather a marketing plan that they've used before that they're trying to fit your business into. So just understand that they may have experience in a different industry with a marketing campaign that they're then trying to apply it within your industry. So that is something that you just need to be cognizant of. You can obviously ask questions to ensure that this isn't the case and that you're actually receiving a very tailored approach to your marketing campaigns. You cannot rely solely on a marketing agency anymore. We've all seen how much work and engagement these social media platforms are requiring of us these days. And with the SEO changes that occur every year on top of just keeping up with new marketing opportunities because things are changing so rapidly, the days of you being able to hire an outside marketing agency and just turn over all of your marketing initiatives to them and walk away is long gone. You can't do that anymore. You will always have to keep some component of your marketing internally, especially if you are on a tighter budget. And lastly, let's address the elephant in the room. It can be very costly to hire an outside marketing agency. And part of that is because you are getting access to a robust team with in-depth marketing experience, and that's gonna come at a price tag. Hiring a dedicated marketing person internally to join your team also has its cons. Must include time to train the individual on your products, services, and business. 
While over time you won't need to invest as much resources into training somebody or getting them caught up to speed on your product, services, or business, but in the beginning you are going to have to invest a certain amount of time and effort into teaching them about your industry and also about your business so that they understand your business inside and out and can represent your business well. You will be asking them to be a jack of all trades to some aspect. Marketing is a pretty big umbrella term that can be referring to anything from public relations to social media management to ad creation or even lead creation. And so you're having to find somebody that is not only motivated, but is willing to understand enough of the nuances in each one of these areas to be able to help you with what you need. Now you may be able to circumvent some of this if you are looking for someone to just do your social media marketing or for somebody to come on to just do your lead magnets. But typically, if you were to hire a marketing person in-house to help you, you're gonna have them doing a little bit of everything. It will require consistent guidance and communication on your part. Even once the person knows your business intimately, you are a small business owner, which means that your goals and your marketing initiatives are going to shift throughout the years and even within a short 12 month time period. So you need to be able to easily and effectively communicate your priorities to your in-house marketing team member. So being prepared to have monthly or weekly meetings with them just so that they can stay updated on what your business goals are and also what your objectives and your initiatives are for the marketing side of things. All right, so now that we've covered both the pros and cons of both of these options, as promised, I'm going to give you my personal recommendation as a longtime executive director of marketing who herself has had to go through and decide whether to hire an internal team or to outsource some of our marketing initiatives. So my personal recommendation with my experience is that if you are choosing between the two that you first prioritize and first hire somebody internally to do your marketing for you. And the reason that I recommend this is because in the long run, you will be able to eventually outsource some part of your marketing to an outside agency at some point, but you're still going to need help to bridge that gap, to have somebody looking out for your business and ensure that they are doing what they need to do to best represent your company. Hiring somebody internally as well will allow you to capture some of that low hanging fruit, the stuff that you can do relatively quickly to get the most return on investment. So for example, the social media side of things, posting, engaging, representing your business, making sure that you guys are showing up and that you're capturing some of those new customers and clients. Looking for free PR opportunities when you have them. If you bring a new team member on, if you guys are celebrating a five year anniversary, if you're launching a new product and service, those are all great opportunities to get free PR having somebody internally to be able to stay up to date with that and to connect with the media to let them know about it is really key. Not just that, but from my personal experience, hiring somebody as an employee or even as a 1099 contractor is actually cheaper than outsourcing and hiring a marketing agency. So as I explained earlier, I would prioritize first getting that employee onboarded teaching them everything there is to know about your products and services in your business. And then if you have the funds later on to go out and hire a marketing agency, at least you'll have somebody that is able to represent your company, understand your marketing initiatives, and also can speak to your priorities. If you like this video, remember that every Monday we release a video just like this that could help you save time and money when it comes to marketing your business. Don't forget to check out our website at www.theseasonmarketer.com where you can find all of our other videos and also where you can download some free resources today. Thanks again for tuning in. We'll catch you guys next week, same time and place.